G'day viewers, how are you? I thought I'd do something a little different today with a movie review. Probably not the first time I've done it, but I don't do it often. And hey, there's going to be a little bit of experimentation this month. And the reason I wanted to do this movie review of Shazam, which I saw last night, is you get to virtually say, well, which is the best Captain Marvel? Because I saw the Marvel movie Captain Marvel a couple weeks ago. And for non-comic book nerds, uh, Shazam was originally known as Captain Marvel. It's a slightly weird story in that Shazam was invented in the 50s by a competitor to DC. DC ended up winning a lawsuit against this guy who created and published uh, Shazam, saying this is just a ripoff of Superman. Uh, and so the guy had to stop publishing Shazam. Then in the 70s, DC who appeared to have the rights, uh, decided to bring Shazam back. But of course, Marvel Comics had been running for a while at this point, and they had their own Captain Marvel character, the original incarnation of which was a dude, like almost all the superheroes were. Uh, and so, although Shazam was still technically known as Captain Marvel in the DC Comics, they market it as Shazam rather than Captain Marvel to not get into a fight with Marvel Comics. So whether by coincidence or design, within a couple of weeks of each other, we have the release of Captain Marvel and Shazam. I saw them both. So which is best? Well, there's some interesting similarities and differences in them. In the, a important part of the Carol Danvers story was... Uh, her experiences growing up as a girl, being told what she couldn't do. But the big thing is, you know, she gets knocked down, she gets back up again. Possibly then having a succession of alcoholic beverages. I don't know. She's into the 90s music um, because that's when the Captain Marvel movie is set. And uh, Billy Batson in uh, Shazam is literally a kid. He's a teenager. But by saying the magic word, literally magic word, Shazam, he's transformed into this Superman-like character. So they both have this tie to childhood. Carol Danvers, you know, growing up a girl and people holding her back a whole life. Still holding her back as this uh, highly powered superhero. And Billy Batson literally being a kid and when he becomes super powered as Shazam... He goes through all this stuff from the perspective of a kid. Now, apart from that, they're completely different, obviously. Uh, and which one you prefer is going to depend on your tastes. Shazam was a lot of fun. Uh, DC put out a genuinely funny movie. They've been struggling, something chronic, this obsession with being dark and dreary. This one, they've gone very old school comic booky, bright colors and being funny and it works like it's even it's just a PG-13 film it's very inoffensive they they do the very mild swears in it uh, but broadly it's a lot of fun Captain Marvel is a Marvel movie if you like Marvel movies you'll like Captain Marvel uh, I probably preferred it but it's it is quite hard to compare between the two because although they're both comic booky characters, weirdly both technically named Captain Marvel, like I said, the Shazam movie is very PG-13, is light-hearted fun. Uh, Captain Marvel is like the rest of the Marvel movies, mostly. A uh, lot of action. Uh, young Nick Fury, the de ageified Samuel Jackson. That's good for a hoot. And if you're my age, well, 10 years younger than me to a bit older than me, uh, you'll probably enjoy the 90s references. Uh, sometimes they laboured them. I preferred the ones they didn't actually explain. But things like waiting for web pages to load, using Alta Vista rather than Google, uh, even stuff off a disk taking forever to load. You know, <laughs> good times. Good times we lived um, when we thought computers were awesome, but they were kind of shit. And uh, Shazam is just set in the modern age. But it, what was interesting to me is because uh, Captain Marvel was a female-led movie, in fact, Marvel's first female-led superhero movie, 
DC beat them to the punch on that with uh, Wonder Woman. Uh, but we had this ridiculous campaign from the MRAs trying to torpedo the movie before it came out with their fake negative reviews of it. Uh, nobody sensible was taken in by that. In fact, Captain Marvel's uh, grossed over a billion dollars worldwide, which just really shows how fucking stupid the MRAs are. Uh, Shazam has only just opened, so there's no way of knowing how big its box, box office take will be. Who will be the biggest gross in Captain Marvel? Who knows? Only time will tell. But will the MRAs have to face that if the female-led movie is uh, more successful, uh, then they'll just have to accept the fact that uh, straight white males can't carry an action hero movie on their own anymore. But, hey, then maybe uh, Shazam will end up doing better. Being PG-13, it arguably has... Uh, a bigger potential audience to draw on. Although we know it's not kids who watch these fucking movies. It's adults who won't grow up. But hey, whatever you like is up to you. Like I said, personal taste is fine. Uh, whining, pathetic little shitheads who push their ideology while saying they're just talking about the quality of the movies. They're sad losers with desperate, worthless lives. But hey, you've got the choice these days. Make your own mind of uh, which Captain Marvel is the best.